Today I will be fixing a problem for you guys that will happen when trying to import pictures and videos from your iOS phone, which is Apple, to your Windows 10 PC. What will happen is you'll press import and it will say error, different error messages depending on what the problem is. Today I will be fixing that. First thing you want to do is you want to have your phone plugged in as mine is here. You're going to want to open it. In my case, I can use fingerprint because my phone has that. Now you're going to want to go back to your PC here. Now what you're going to want to do, if you are if you plug in your phone and the computer does not automatically make that little chime, what you're going to want to do is press this Windows key in usually the bottom left corner of your keyboard. You can also click this little thing in the bottom here. Now what you're going to do is as soon as you press that, you're going to type P-H-O. You're starting to spell photos. Now it's automatically going to come up right here as the photos app. You're going to press enter. It's going to load up the photos app. And you're going to press import up here because you want to import pictures or videos. You're going to say from a USB device because your phone is connected through Bluetooth. I mean, not Bluetooth, USB it's going to sync all of your pictures and videos, which might take a while, so I'll speed this up for you. Okay, I'm back, and for some reason, the image, the images or the thumbnails will not load. But I know that the video I want to import is this one right here, since this is the latest one I took. Sorry that you had to hear my dog barking. So, unless you want to import 343 pictures and videos, then I suggest you press this unselect all button right here. And you pick the video or picture you want to import. In my case, it's a video. Now on your computer, you will most likely see all the thumbnails on here. Again, for mine, it won't load for some reason. I mean, I don't have the fastest computer in the world. Anyway, you're going to click on the video or pictures that you want. If you want to select multiple, you just click on multiple. In my case, I'm just going to have one. You're going to go down here and click Import Selected. And the problem happens with this. It says something went wrong. Your files might not have been imported. No matter what you do, even if you go in File Explorer down here and do it manually without this Photos app, it still will not work. You cannot do anything to get around this problem. The way you actually fix this is on your phone. So, I'm going to take my phone here. I'm going to sign in. What you're going to do is you're going to go to your settings. You're going to scroll all the way down until you find the camera settings. You're going to want to click on that. You can see I film at 1080p 60 frames per second. None of that matters. All you want to do is click this format. Now right now, if you're having this problem, you're most likely on high efficiency, which means it is a HEVC or HEIF file, which is not really compatible with Windows computers. There's no way around it. What you have to do to fix this problem is click most compatible. Now you're going to go back, and now you can see slow-mo has went down to 720. That's fine. So you want to you wanna go to your home screen, always make sure your phone is unlocked if you're trying to import. You're going to plug your phone back in, as I will do so right now. You can hear the charging, so you know it's plugged in. Once you have done all that stuff on your phone, it's going to say, oh, you can add p photos from your phone now. So it's going to even give you a little blue dot here to show you that it's from USB. You're going to click on that. It's going to take a while to load, so I'll speed this up. Never mind, I don't need to speed it up. It was faster now. So now you're going to take your video that you have just done, or picture. You're going to click on it. And you know what? This is not actually going to work. What you're going to have to do is, sadly, if you have filmed a video or picture on high efficiency mode, you cannot import it. What you have to do is you have to take a new picture or video on your phone now that you have converted your format for recording 
to most compatible. Now after you take this video, now you can import this video. I will take a video and I will show you right now. Okay, so once you have taken your picture or video that you want, yes, you do have to refilm even if you took a very long video. I'm sorry, Windows cannot help you. Even if you go on their support page, they can't do anything. So now you're going to want to exit out of this after you film your new video because it has to sync again. You're going to click import from USB, just like usual. And now you can see this is the new picture I have shot on my phone, which is sideways for some reason, but that doesn't matter. Now it's in most compatible. So if I click on this, now the picture loads and you can see it. So that is the picture I have just taken. This has been how to fix importing error from iOS to Windows.